Hello, I'm JNX16 and this is the first, I would say, blog, maybe, maybe it's a blog, um, I'm not too sure, but I want to do videos like this to show you my layout, introduce myself properly, I've done 920 some videos on YouTube since 2008, and I thought it was about time you actually saw me, um, I've never actually been on camera, you've probably seen my reflection and some uh, horn being backman reviews but I wanted to do a video on my layout and the ideas and plans and everything for it um, I have two layouts I have a double O gauge run my uh, Barrow Bridge station which is double O gauge um, up in the house um, originally I did have a oh it all started on uh, YouTube was the Saffron Mine which would have been in the uh, old shed old coal shed standard for some here. <laughs> so yeah I wanted to do a video of this and there'll be plenty more to come but for I introduce myself and introduce my layout this is Marble Bridge Station um O Gauge I plan I was planning it about three years ago and I finally got a chance to do it. I had to uh, get a shed first and the idea is that this layout links up to the garden up there and it's about 26 long from the shed, 26 foot, so it's enough to run the trains by four. If I'm having a layout, I do need some area to run it as well. So that was the idea behind all that. The layout is done from no research really on a real railway. It's not based on a real location. It's purely fictional, um, but I would say I would like to think it would have been a national coal board line back in, you know, the 80s. And it was bought by some volunteers. They have bought it. They're going to run some trains on it. They laid some track. And they've also got some track left from what British Rail and the National Coal Board left there. So that's the idea behind the actual story. I've always liked the National Coal Board um, colliery railways and everything like that. Um, if I had my own way, that's probably what I would do in double O gauge, but I got too much British Rail and everything like that. Just have a drink because my throat is going. Um, so yeah, this is my layout. It's, I've said it's an old gauge model railway. Um, it's built in two sections. You can't really see it because the camera is facing at me. Um, but eventually the camera will be put up in that corner and when it's put up there you'll be able to see me and the layout so that that will probably be in the next video of this the blog but the layout's gone really well I, i'm really enjoying working with old gauge track and um, track work is not my best um, skill on railways and working with old gauge track is a lot better so i'm really enjoying it um the wiring side of things i'm not because i i know nothing about electrics not at all and it's been quite hard actually i've had a few problems with the loop and everything but that's resolved now well, not 100 percent resolved but there's a slight problem somewhere in the layout but i can still run trains they run fine um in fact, this weekend I'm doing a Great Van Ride special on layout. And because I haven't got much track to run trains at the moment, I thought it would be ideal to do a video of that. And that would have been how volunteers, when they open their railways to the public, that's how they raise money. They have one engine and they've done a few little rides up and done a, I don't know, a piece of track that was only a couple of metres long. And that's, that's really how they made their money on, on some of these uh, railways. That's how they got the funds to progress on but today i will be soldering i've done a video on working underneath the layout on tidying the wires up that will be up soon the camera's on my workbench at the moment like i said the camera will be up in the corner but this is where i build all my stuff will build build all my stuff wagons all the buildings for red rock the actual red rock layout red rock's not going to be massive but everything will be 100 percent scratch built and i really like the shed I, I like that I've got a place I can work in and when I'm working I usually have my iPod on for some music. If the iPod's dead, no battery, 
on my phone for music as well. So that's good. Um, I haven't got any Wi-Fi down here, but I probably will put um, a Wi-Fi extension box down here somewhere once I get all the electric sources. Also, the panelling on this wall is not being finished. The wall behind the camera needs doing. The roof probably won't be doing. Um, won't need to be done. Um, I'm quite happy with it. We are going to put expanding foam in the corners of the shed just because there's a massive light area coming from that. So I stopped camera, the dog, my well, post if you was the post to come and I knew the dog would bark. Um, so I was just saying in this corner we're going to fill all these in with expanding foam, all the corners. This one there was light coming through here a couple of weeks ago. Not now because I think it's where the, where the shed's settled and everything's filled in. Um, so that's good. Uh, still put expanded foam now though. Purely for, like there's a gap down the side here. Can't see light through it, but I just feel safer doing that. Um, the light will be going on the roof here. And then for the building side of things over here on the bench. I'm sorry if the camera's moving. Um, the bench is bolted to the floor as well as the walls. And the shed does, there's, well, the floor bows a little bit in the middle and it moves the bench. Um, so that's something we've got to work on as well. Um, but the workbench is going to have its own light. Um, I'm probably going to have a, another light on this side of the roof. But when building, I'm going to have some spotlight lamps come over. So that would be pretty ideal. Um, no drink. So yeah, that is it for this video, vlog, I should say. Um, can't wait to show you more. You would have seen all my updates on the layout. Um, if you want to see some running, there was a testing session a couple of weeks ago on there. Um, but I'll do these videos over a stage of time. I won't do one next week. I'll wait until I've got more stuff done. Uh, the shed's going to be painted as well. So next video, next blog, um, everything will be painted in the old walls. So it look really nice and bright. There's an alarm system coming as well, so that'd be good. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hello again, this is me. <laughs> I was going to wear my uh, clone trooper on there, but I thought, no, I don't need to. I'll do that in another video. So thanks for watching, and bye until next time.